Hey everyone, Maurice from Ericsson Woodworking and Design. And today I have some extremely old growth uh, curly redwood that I got earlier this week. And I can tell you the stuff is phenomenal. It's hard as a rock. And we're going to cut these into uh, specific dimensions in preparation for a curbage board that I'm going to make later this week. Uh, the curbage board is going to be an anniversary gift, and this is going to be a perfect uh, piece of wood that's going to uh, elevate that curbage board uh, into something really special. And uh, I can tell you, I haven't yet to ever experience redwood like this. Usually redwood's uh, really soft. This stuff is hard as rock. It's probably harder than walnut. And uh, the grain structure is extremely tight. Those growth rings, you know, you almost lose count. Uh, it's probably about 350 years old. And that's when it was milled. And it was probably milled in eight, late 1800s. And uh, again, this, this grain structure and how hard this wood is and how dense it is, it's just phenomenal. And redwoods is typically, you know, really soft. And uh, got... Extremely lucky that I was able to get this. Uh, ended up linking up on Facebook with uh, Austin over at Deadwood Sawmill. He's he's based out of Oregon. He has a, uh, a Facebook page that uh, specializes in these type of hardwoods, softwoods. Um, and he just, man, there's just some phenomenal pieces that uh, you can get for relatively cheap. And um, this... Redwood that I got is going to be a perfect accent to the this anniversary cribbage board that I'm going to make later this week. And um, it's going to be pretty unique and special. And uh, so just stay tuned. That video will probably come out later this week on how I made this. And uh, speaking about cribbage boards, hey, so that free uh, YouTube giveaway is still ongoing. And uh, it actually closes tomorrow at midnight. And uh, I'll randomly pick the winner. Um, so definitely subscribe, comment on the video and, uh, you know, get entered into a chance to actually you know, get this thing uh, sent to your house for free. Um, super exciting. I had some really great positive feedback on the video. And, uh, again, that's just a, a celebration to the subscribers. And I think, you know, moving forward, I'm going to keep doing this stuff. And, uh, so, Hey, so back, um, with this redwood. Now, this stuff is pretty special. It is extremely old and, you know, you can't cut down old growth trees uh, anymore and uh, they're actually protected. So, you know, back in the day, they didn't really want, you know, this type of figured wood and they would just toss it. They, they were just looking for dimensional lumber uh, to build houses. And I mean, they basically wrecked the, the West Coast on, uh, with, with the forest. And uh, so these billets, you know, Again, we're probably processed around, you know, 1850, 1870s, uh, way back in the day. But this is probably a branch uh, from a really large, you know, bigger tree. And again, the, the growth rings are just, there. there's so many and they're so compact. And uh, I have fallen in love with this grain structure. And again, this is uh, hard as a rock. Now, when I originally purchased this, I think the moisture count that, that, Austin showed me was probably around 16 and uh, I ended up buying two uh, billets from them and uh, when I got it earlier this week took it to the wood store had it checked it was right around 11 so it does have a little bit left uh, as far as the moisture count that it needs to go down I don't typically use uh, anything that's probably above 8% I'll let this normalize in the shop for a good week and I'll get it retested It'll probably drop down to eight nine percent uh, pretty quickly. And, uh, again, I just cannot um, stop looking at the, you know the grain structure on this. It is phenomenal, and, uh, so I'm trying to be as careful as I can. I want to get as much yield uh, for what I want to build um, as I can out of this wood. I don't want to use anything at waste. All these uh, offcuts that I'm going to I'm going to have. I have a plan for that. All, all of that stuff is going to get used. But for the keepsake boxes, you know, I, I try to cut uh, as close as I can. But I know that once the moisture starts, you know, coming down a little bit more, it's going to shrink. And uh, so I'm just being really careful with that. But I, again, I just want as much yield as I can get out of these boards because 
they were expensive and you know it's it's old and you want to pay homage to you know what this tree uh, can produce and you want to make sure you get as much out of it as you can and these two billets were actually book matched um, i didn't really um, i don't really need that but it is kind of nice i had options with this but i really wanted to make this out of a keepsake box for that curbage board and uh, so for those that that mill or try to process their lumber a you know, bandsaw is probably the best way to do this and if you can get as close as you can square and you do your cuts as uh, straight as you can you, know, you, you can get really good results but you just have to take your time do the math appropriately and uh, try to get it again just as much yield as you can out of these boards and, uh, but looking at the you know the, the live edge on that is just it's you can just tell that this thing is old um, and uh, it it was easy cutting I didn't have any any problems uh, I noticed that there was checking and uh, but it didn't go all the way through and so that was a really clear indication that you know the dense and uh, the, how tight that grain structure is I'm gonna have no issues when I start processing the, the boxes out of this so, you know, out of this, I really got two clean billets that, you know, I can start uh, prepping, you know, keepsake boxes. And out of this, I think it was right around two inches. The other one was just under two inches as far as thickness. I can get a lot of boxes out of that. And uh, <clears throat> which is great because, again, this stuff is pretty expensive. And, uh, it's going to look phenomenal once once the box actually comes together and i have a couple ideas what i'm going to do i have a uh, i'm going to do some really unique uh, marquetry for this one and uh you know it's the the cribbage board that we're going to make out of this um, it's going to be a uh, perpetual calendar that's frozen on the cribbage board where it doesn't move and it can be you know it just stops at that special date and the name of the cribbage board is actually going to be, uh, I think it was when time stood still. You know, once that date happened, everything just kind of stood still. And uh, again, it's a, it's an heirloom quality uh, piece that's going to go out. But, so that's basically it. That's how I process, you know, some of my lumber that I get, dimensionalize it and, uh, I'm going to let this normalize in the shop for a good week and just to see where that moisture count hits. And, uh, you know, if it didn't release the moisture yet, I'll give it a couple, I'll probably give it a month just to make sure that, you know, this doesn't warp, twist, do all those crazy things when it starts releasing all that moisture. Uh, but again, like Colorado Springs right now, it's just, man, it's, it's hot, it's dry. And, uh, it dropped 6% almost uh, immediately when it was coming through the mail. And, uh, but again, this is how I process my lumber. I am very uh, meticulous when trying to you know, understand how much yield I can get out of each board, what I'm going to use it for. There's a lot of planning in all of this. And you got to pay uh, homage to the wood and uh, those that milled it uh, way back in the day. And uh, so, yeah, I think this is going to be a perfect accent uh, material, you know, for that, that cribbage board. And again, you just cannot go wrong uh, with this type of grain structure. It's just, it's phenomenal. All right, guys. Well, hey, <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching the video. And, uh, you know, if, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your notifications on. I'll have another video coming out this week with a complete uh, curbage board build. And uh, look in the description. There'll be links to that uh, free giveaway. And, uh, again, you got about 24 hours-ish uh, to get in there. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys win it. All right, guys. Thanks.